Okay, so where am I so far? So my stage has six, six different frames. This is a good time to save it. It's also a good time to test the animation once I've gotten through the first row of my storyboard. So it's taking me six frames basically to get through the first three keyframes. So how does it animate together? Well, to do that, I'm in my stage. I go to window and I say timeline. And then I'm going to create a frame by frame animation. Within the timeline window, I use the window options in this upper right hand corner of the timeline window. And I say make frames from layers. Now this is just an animation test. So I will be deleting these frames after. Remember the frames simply program the eyeball. And I always leave the background in until the very end. So I'm reminded that these are not these. <laughs> these are just programs for the eyeball. So the first thing I'll do is get rid of that blank one and then set the timing by holding down shift to select all of them. And I use a default timing of 0.3, a little bit faster than three frames per second. Then I'm gonna play it through forever. And then I'll play through those first few frames. And I can shrink it. And I like how the, the ice flows are starting to move. And I like how the atmosphere is moving. And I like how my creature comes in. Yeah, so far so good. So that's an animation test, just to make sure that you don't need to add a frame or really you really screwed up something, like if one of these disappeared at some point, right? Okay, so I stop them. Then I select all of them again, holding down shift, and I drag them to the trash can. I do not hit delete, otherwise it will delete all my layers. I have to drag them to the trash can before I add another layer. Otherwise, that new layer I add will be added to all my frames. It just becomes a headache. So you only output frames by saying make frames from layers when you do a test. And I do that after each three of my storyboards. And then at the end, you can do little frame in between frame adjustments because you have all your layers in there. But you don't make changes to layers or add new layers while you have frames out. Okay, I'm gonna save it. So far, so good. I'm on this one right now. So that's where I left off. Now I get to show the hero pose of my creature. Now let's see. I can switch between my stage and my assets and I can see that I already moved my assets a little bit. So all my environment's good, I just have to move my creature. And now instead of the merged creature, right, I get to show my hero creature with the talons, right? Now this is the first time the tongue is out. So if I decide I need some more assets here for just while it's standing and clutching the water tower, let me find it, then I can build that quickly. Like for here, maybe I don't want that tongue out quite so much. So what can I do? I can puppet warp it or maybe make a duplicate of it and puppet warp it. So there's no reason you can't make additional assets as you're outputting your frames but it's optional, I don't need to, oops. It's Cause I don't wanna have the tongue just appear. I also might want the wings to be in a slightly different place. From where they were before. Let's see how this works. So what did I have before? I can click on the stage and see. So it goes from that to that. And that helps it like it just landed. Now it's sitting up a little bit. Okay. So Starting the next frame, as I'm moving the creature around, I'm also going to start to change the church. I don't need that yet. So this will be my last one without the church. Just hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, go to Stage, Command V. I'll be saying that a lot. I like to zoom in a little bit 
on um, the stage just so I know they're different. <laughs> but if I stay zoomed out at the same, then I can compare them and see what changes still need to be made. So there's advantages both ways. Just remember that the stage and your assets are different. Uh, Command D to deselect, delete the layer, play with the foreground ice, do do do, do do do, the mist, do do do, the uh, opacities, shoot, just becomes a little routine. It's like sun salutations in yoga, you just go through the motions. Gives you a better animation at the end. Okay. Now I go right to the final combined layer and I can decide okay now I want the full tongue out like this and now the wings are high up right. So that's good. Now the church I want to start with the glow happening. So, just a little bit of glow there happening. That's all I need. I don't need to even start lifting the roof yet. Just a little bit of glow. That's kind of interesting. So let's see. It's going to go from this to this. Yep, that'll work. There are things I could critique, but it's fine. Layer, Merge Visible, holding down Option, Command A, Command C, Command V. Save it for good measure. Go back. Command D to deselect. Delete the merged. Uh, fiddle with the ice. Fiddle with the mist. Maybe warp it again. Play with the opacities. Those talons are going to stay put right where they are. My creature, though, let's uh, mess with it a little bit. So. Puppet warp it. Let's bring the tongue. Ah. This is where I want that shuffle to happen. Bring the tongue in. Ah. There we go. Straighten it up. If you right click, you can unpin, so delete pins, because sometimes you place them in a place that doesn't do what you want. And I want to just heave the back a little bit. This is how you get breathing, just heaving the chest. It's better to go from the back than from the front. All right, so let's see. If that movement makes sense, looks like it's shuffling a little. One other thing I can do is move that leg a little forward. Remember my talons are on a separate layer so that they cannot move, which is good. But the muscles above them can. Good, not going for subtlety. Okay, now I need to increase the glow on the church and start to open the roof a little. So I'm gonna do this slowly, with a little bit of opacity, but I know it's more than I had before. And then I start to open up the roof like that. And make sure everything else moved. 
oh, I'm not moving the uh, this ice flow anymore. It would be weird if it just stopped moving. So I need to keep that going a little bit. Good, okay. Go up to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, paste, paste it in, Command V. Good. Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, move the foreground ice. Move the mist. Play with the opacities. Maybe warp one of them for good measure. Especially as our attention is now more going to be focused on the church. Make a duplicate of my creature. This is kind of new animation. Nope. Puppet warp. I think I'm going to get that tongue sucked in again. That tongue's annoying. It's annoying. Just shuffling the muscles above the legs. There we go, suck it up. Now let's just delete that. Let's see if that made enough of a change. Yeah, maybe I'll help it warp a little bit more. Remember, control the breath. I'm just going to show the very tip of the tongue. There we go. And now more glowing, right? Yep. So everything else is moving up. Oh, I didn't do the... I'm going to have to mark it with a color. I keep forgetting to move it. And I won't find that out until my animation test shows me that I screwed up. Good. Okay. Now glow the church. And raise the roof. Just up the opacity. Very good. Okay, next. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge, Visible, Command A, Command C. I know this is repetitive, but that is animation in a nutshell. Command D to deselect from your assets. Delete the Merge layer. Move the ice. Move the other ice. And eventually I'm going to have to start moving it the other way so it resets. <laughs> um, Move the mist. Luckily, mist you don't have to worry so much about. Play with the opacities. So this is this is becoming a very nice animatic. Lots of little details here. Play with moving the creature. Mm. 
this time I'm just going to have the tongue all the way in 